Hey what's up guys it's Bola here and today I'm gonna show you how you can get even more FPS in Doom Eternal or basically in any other game. So for today's video I'm gonna be using an Nvidia card and I'll be showing you the optimized preset uh, for the Nvidia control panel. So right click on your desktop and select Nvidia control panel. Then going to adjust image settings with preview and select the middle option which says use the advanced advanced 3d image settings then go to manage 3d settings let me restore it all right so these are the settings that you're gonna get out of the box what you need to change basically uh, right here uh, open G rendering gpu make sure you select your graphics card and then uh, power management mode select this is the most important one select prefer maximum performance then also texture filtering um, and it's a traffic center optimization, turn it on. Texture filtering quality, you should turn it to uh, performance or high performance. And that is pretty much it. Some of you guys have been telling me in the last video that you don't have the Nvidia control panel, even though you have an Nvidia card. So. Um, Nowadays, some NVIDIA drivers don't include this software, but there's a simple fix for that. You need to download it from the Microsoft Store. So go ahead and launch it and type in NVIDIA Control Panel. It should appear. And you need to download it. But there's again a problem. Uh, sometimes, even I had the problem, uh, you can download it. There's another fix for that. So go into the settings and select system, then storage then um, change where new content is saved. Make sure that new apps will be saved to uh, local disk C. I had it to D and it couldn't download it some, somehow. So make sure you select uh, your OS disk, if it is usually C, and that should fix your problem. And now let's get into the settings. First up, windowed mode. Make sure to run it uh, in full screen. Uh, I'm just running it in windowed for the sake of recording. Then resolution, make sure you are using a native resolution. Turn off vertical sync if you don't want the input lag. Uh, turn off HDR if you don't have an HDR display, uh, because otherwise it can cause performance issues. Field of view, this is per totally personal, uh, but the higher you go, the more FPS you will lose, but it's, uh, it's a small loss. Motion blur, turn it off. Gamma is just the brightness. Uh, these are just the FPS metrics that you see on the right side here. Then advanced. Over quality turn to custom, texture pool size. Now, if you have a 6 gig card, you can go ultra or high. If you have a 4 gig card, medium or high, and under 4, uh, most likely low. Uh, shadow quality, this is the most important settings. This affects uh, the FPS the most, so select medium or low. Reflection quality is also a pretty big hit, so select medium or low. Motion blur quality, we turned it off uh, up there, so select low. Reflection occlusion is also pretty big, so turn it medium or low. Light quality the same. Particles quality is a small impact, so I'd recommend high. Decal and water can stay at ultra or higher. Volumetrics quality should be at uh, low, because it's also a big impact. Texture filtering should be the same as your texture pool size. The geometric quality should be set to uh, low or medium. Chromatic aberration, you can turn it on and sharpening 33. Film grain, turn it off. Uh, resolution scaling mode. Uh, if you're really struggling to get to 60 FPS or whatever you want, you can turn it on and select a um, resolution uh, scaling target FPS for 60 or 40 or whatever, and it uh, will help you maintain that FPS, uh, but not uh, for sure. Depth of field, turn it off. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe.